In this uh, video, we're going to look at some examples of how to uh, work out uh, flux. Um, so, in example number one, we want to find the uh, uh, flux of this vector field upwards uh, through uh, the open surface the parabolic cylinder z equals to x squared in the first octant cut out by these planes. Okay, before we go on with the example, uh, just um, to mention that uh, what uh, we have established in the first video is that the formula for the flux is this one. So what we do is we parameterize the surface S by writing it in the form um, R equal to uh, X as a function of UV plus y as a function of uv plus uh, z as a function of uv so we this is the position vector r u and v are two parameters then um, this is going to be equal to f times so f dot the cross product of r u uh, and R V and then the limits here are going to be in terms of the parameters U and V now however sometimes it is easier to write the equation of the surface in the form G of X Y and Z equal to zero then in that case this formula reduces to f dot the gradient of g here uh, and then here we can choose um, for instance if we express this if we project the surface onto the xy plane then our limits are going to be in terms of x and y all right so for our number one we have uh, the function uh, the vector field minus uh, 3x z y squared and then we have the surface uh, z equal to x squared um, we want it in the first octant um, cut out uh, by so cut out by the planes y equal to 4 and uh, z equal to 9. So the first thing to do here is to make a sketch of the surface here so that we get a correct um, correct details in terms of what the, um, the integration limits are going to be. So here we go. So we've got z equals to x squared. So since there is no dependence in y, uh, this thing is just going to go parallel with the y-axis. So that is generally the case. If you get a surface which is a function that is independent of z, then it's generally going to go parallel with the z-axis. So here z equals x squared. So this is going to be a parabola. Um, so with uh, z and uh, x squared parabola like that. Uh, maybe let's uh, do a bit better here. Um, z equals to x squared actually going to be right on the, uh, the origin. So something like this. Okay, um, so it's going to go parallel with the y-axis. Uh, so that means even here, it's going to look something like that. Okay, so let's just uh, join it up. So something like this. And like 
that. So that's what our surface is going to look like. And so what's going to happen is uh, this is the situation. So we're interested in this in the first octant. So that means uh, only this bit is going to come in, not that bit. Um, and then, um, so this is cut out by y equal to 4. So this is y equals to 4 here. So that, that plane there is uh, cutting our um, parabolic cylinder at that point. So what's going to happen is, um, so the surface we are interested in, as I have just mentioned before, is just going to be this section here down to the origin, sorry, to the y-axis. And uh, so that is going to be the surface. Now, if you project this down on two, the xy plane okay then this is going to give us a rectangle um, in so this xy plane rectangle here this is y equals to 4 when z is equal to 9 x is equal to Three, so this side here that is going to be x is equal to three. Okay, so um, now um, this function we can write it in the form z minus x squared. So that is going to be our g. So if you use the second formulation here, the first thing we're going to do is to find grad G. And so grad G uh, is going to be derivative of this with respect to x is minus 2x. Derivative of G with respect to y is 0. And derivative of G with respect to uh, z is 1. OK. Now, um, so remember here we're looking for the flux upwards. So it is important here, up and down is determined by the Z component. So this Z component is positive. So that is good because it means it's going to be the upward um, um, normal of uh, this um, surface here. So it means that normal, um, if you're on this surface, it's going to look something like that, which is upward. So that's uh, what uh, that great G is going to look like. Um, so, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to write our F, which is here. Um, we can choose right now, I've projected this onto the XY plane. So if we're going to do that, uh, then we need to express everything in terms of x and y, in which case is in terms of x is in terms of y. So we need to express this in terms of x, and uh, we use the equation of the surface. So that means our f is going to be, um, so the first component is minus 3x, the second component is going to be x squared because that is z. And the last component is y squared. Okay. Once this is uh, done, then our flux is simply going to be the integral of f dot the grad of g dA. Now, if we do that... Um, so it's just going to be this times this, which is going to be 6x squared. Uh, the middle terms give us 0. And then y squared times 1 is just y squared. Okay. 
Now, since this is in terms of x and y, so we're going to use this region here, which is the projection of our surface on to the xy plane. So in terms of this, um, the range of x is from 0 to 3. So that's going to give us the limit for the x integral. Then the range of y is from uh, 0 to 4. So that's going to give us the limit for the y part. And then we just integrate this partially. So if we start with the x integral, uh, integral of 6x squared is going to give us 2x cubed. Um, and integral of y squared is going to give us xy squared from 0 to 3. Then if we plug in the limits, only this one is going to give us non-zero tenths. So uh, 3 cubed is 27 times 2. So it's going to give us 54 here. Uh, and uh, the second term is going to be 3y squared dy. And then we're going to integrate this now with respect to y. So we are going to get uh, 54y plus y cubed. The limits are 0 to 4. And then this time, uh, it's just this limit that's going to give us something non-zero. When we do that uh, substitution, we find that this thing gives us 280. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the second method uh, just for instructional purposes. Um, so um, in this case, we're going to do the parametric approach. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to express the surface in terms of the parametric equations. Um, now, um, so our equation is z equals to x squared. Um, so what I will do, okay, is I will choose uh, x and y to be our parameters. So, and then z is x squared. So that means that just becomes uh, x squared there. So that is um, one uh, way of parametrizing uh, this surface. So since x and y are our parameters, then we need to differentiate this partially with respect to x and then partially with respect to y and then take the cross product. <clears throat> so with respect to x, it's going to be 1, 0, and 2x there. With respect to y, it's going to be 0, 1, 0. Then upon taking the cross product, um, so this thing is going to give us i, j, and k there. 1, 0, 2x, 0, 1, 0. So when we do this, the first one is going to be 0 minus 2x. So minus 2x there. Then the second one is going to be 0 minus 0, which is 0. And then the third one is just going to be 1. Now, again, at this point, we need to check if this is, because this is like a normal vector of the surface. So we need to check whether it's upwards or downwards. Okay, and that is determined by the z uh, component so since that's positive it looks like it is upwards so that is okay and so after doing that um, then we uh, do the cross prod uh, the dot product 
with uh, this uh, normal vector so called minus 3x there uh, z is x squared then y squared so because again we were parameterizing using x and y so we express everything in terms of x and y if we take this uh, dot product that's going to give us x squared 6x squared plus y squared and then at this point you can see that this is giving us exactly the same um, equations as in the previous method so from here onwards this is going to be uh, the calculation is going to be exactly the same all right um, so i'm going to bring this video to an end here and continue with the second example uh, in the next video thank you for watching uh, we do encourage you to uh, subscribe to our channel and um, if you've got any questions or comments please post them in the comment section thank you